uh, have you ever experienced that we say Chinese local suppliers mm -hmm. to help them to such kind of jobs? Yeah. To make them fix their problems. Yeah. Tell them how to do it. Yeah. You you done it. Yeah. How 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 say um, what do you think about this? It's very much, uh, people ask that question a lot, uh, but it's very much like every other country in the world and every other business in the world. Uh -huh. they, the people who are, let's say, entrepreneurs and they start a business and they got a machine shop or they got a casting shop or these types of things are all driven by certain human uh, needs and they're very very similar there's not so much difference and uh, there are some differences but uh, uh, but uh, for the most part there's a lot more similarities than there are differences um, uh, here is a case um, last month I compared with uh, European OEMs uh -huh. they want to start some new new projects okay. for the car, for, for the new models yeah. especially for China, uh, channel market yeah. so okay. looking for the local uh, auto parts suppliers to, to you know to, to for the cost considerations uh, we went to uh, uh, Jiangsu a province in, in near Shanghai. Okay. Uh -huh. The lighting uh, is a lighting uh, supplier local and the, in the top two. Uh, the interesting thing is that they bought um, they bought a very advanced equipment cost a lot of money okay. three years ago, but they never they never use that. Okay. Because they have to train in people, they have to do maintenance. So the the, the main reason they buy these equipments because they want to show their abilities. Uh -huh. okay. So that ma makes a, um, make those people from France very shocked, you know. They, they cannot figure it out because it's definitely it's not the wise way to improve their capacities. No, uh, but it happens also in other countries, I think, in uh -huh. a similar way. So it's not unique mm -hmm. for China. Mm -hmm. uh, it may be unique because you know about that particular situation, <laughs> but it, uh, similar situations uh, more or less occur in, in every corner of the world, I uh -huh. think. Uh -huh. And so, uh, also though, uh, I am critical of mm -hmm. uh, the OE mm -hmm. who comes just looking for the lowest cost, in other words, if the OE comes and works as mm -hmm. a partner with mm -hmm. that supplier, mm -hmm. they will achieve the lowest cost together. Of course. But uh, so many don't do that. <laughs> so many just come in and say, what's the lowest price? You got the job. You have to cut, cut it down, maybe 30%. But if, if, uh, if the uh, OE, i I'll give you an example. Uh, Delphi sells uh -huh. the uh, engine control unit, that's the computer for the engine, uh, for the Corolla worldwide. Uh, and so, okay. <coughs> uh, a couple of years ago, uh, Toyota uh, was going to have a new model. It's more than a couple of years ago. A couple of years ago, they did have a new model. So a couple of years before that, they, they called and said, could we come mm -hmm. and, and meet with your engineers? Your engineers are the experts at mm -hmm. making this product, mm -hmm. but our engineers know how to do a kind of project management mm -hmm. and working together, mm -hmm. we will uh, uh, achieve our cost of taking out 30% of the cost, ac actually taking the cost out. Mm -hmm. And so we were selling that part for $140 each. $140. One hundred forty dollars. Not cheap. One forty. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah, it's a computer. So, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, so uh, the new car had mm -hmm. a sixty dollars more functionality for mm -hmm. that computer. Mm -hmm. So now it's worth two hundred. One forty plus sixty. Yeah. The value good. is now two hundred. Yeah. So engineers from Toyota working with our engineers. Uh, uh, identified and took cost out to where now we sell them that product for $120 and we make way more money at $120 than uh -huh. we made it at $140 because they worked with us 
and we took the cost out. And oh, okay. uh, it's that's where the power uh, of let's say good supplier relationships mm -hmm. and cooperative uh, uh, approaches mm -hmm. towards eliminating waste uh, ends up being a winning mm -hmm. uh, way of doing business. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's it, it takes a ta it, it, it should takes time. I, I think you should take some time to do the education in China market. I, I it, would agree. Yeah, especially the local OEM car makers. I would agree. <laughs> very, very important. Pardon? Very important. Yes. The, uh, so, uh, the, there are uh, some differences in China. It's more like uh, where they are in the evolution. So, mm -hmm. there's a lot of car companies. A lot of bus companies, More than a lot of truck fully. companies, yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. And so there's a huge difference between the very best and the very worst. Um. And the very worst uh, don't have so much good best practices and that sort of thing. And, and, and uh, they just I, make, I make a bus or make a car. <laughs> and uh, A coach with wheels. Uh -huh. uh, I know one of them, you know, uh, he... He, his ma major suppliers is from the motor, okay. you know, mo motorcycle. Yeah. And uh, the major issue, the concern is about the cost. Mm. So those cars looks um, looks good. It, it's not the shape. I mean, looks good. But when you really enter the car, start the engine, then problem comes problem a lot. Comes, no. So after two, um, after three years, I guess the branding, you know, the brands. Mm. Um, become become motorcycle. Okay. It, it's not a vehicle anymore. It's not a passenger car anymore. Uh -huh. So that's a disaster, actually. Yeah, it's a disaster. And uh, in the United States, we mm -hmm. experienced a disaster uh, like that from Yugoslavia. Named the car was named Yugo. Yugo. Yeah. And uh, uh, there would be so many problems. You can hardly drive the car from the dealership to home. And they're just, they finally went out of business because there was too many problems. Just Who will buy it? Who? We will buy it. Oh, everybody would buy it because it was so cheap. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, now they were running all over the place in the United States, but mostly they were sitting along the side of the road somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so for the for the global sourcing, I guess people um, automotive industry when when the people start the global sourcing because they want to reduce the cost. Yeah. Yeah, uh, and, and um, based on on your experience, uh, we noticed that you work for the OEMs, work yeah. for the TLR suppliers. Yeah. Who uh, who will be more active in the global sourcing? The OE or the. Or oh, one supplier. Mm -hmm. uh, well, that's an interesting question. I really hadn't thought about it, except I can give you real life experience. Uh, Delphi here yeah. in China uh -huh. uh, in 2006 has a total uh, revenue of mm -hmm. $2 billion. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But for 2008, mm -hmm. just two years later, mm -hmm. we already have $6 billion booked. So we're going to go three times in two years. Yeah. Here in China. Yeah. Now, uh, we need uh, to buy our stuff here uh -huh. in China for local for local production. Yeah. And also supply for global market. Some. Some. Not so much, but some. Mm-hmm.